Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Jordan Arell here, and uh, today I want to talk about a idea, an idea that I have um, about something called consciousness raising, which is actually, um, I believe the term comes from feminism. It, various groups have used it, and uh, it's a it's a really powerful modality of social change, in which people who are affected by a certain uh, form of social oppression come together in groups um, and talk about, simply speak about uh, the oppression that they have experienced to become more aware of how this, this oppression, this um, societal condition is affecting them so that they can better affect change in society and so that they can be more... Um, it, it has a lot of effects so um, the first thing is becoming emotionally aware having a platform in which you can share your emotions your feelings um, become aware of your own experience of this this thing that's happening to you in this case circumcision and um, understanding emotionally how that affects both you and how it's affecting others and understanding that you're not alone and that your experience isn't weird or that it's not something that's wrong with you that it's something that's wrong deeply with society that it's a real problem that needs to be changed um, in connecting with yourself and connecting with others around this issue um, doing that also empowers you because the more you can see okay this this struggle I'm having internally um, it's something that um, it's something that we're all facing together and because it's something that we're all facing together it's something that we can do something about you know it's not just like an isolated problem but it's a systemic problem it's a problem with the entire system of society and so to address it there's systemic things we can do we can actually um, try to affect the system that's creating this condition of of circumcision uh, trauma of of the fact of um, you know the sexual difficulties that men are facing of the isolation that they feel of the um, men men can't talk to their their partners or their parents about this often it's it's really difficult because no one seems to understand and get why you'd be upset about being circumcised you know the the idea that it's genital mutilation sounds like you know this guy must be they assume you must be crazy if you think that um, you're the crazy one not society and so co in consciousness raising um, what happens and what happened for for feminism for example um, women would be experiencing rape or they'd ha have experienced rape or experienced child abuse and at that point it was still relatively normalized you know or it was a uh, or shoved under the rug it was like people weren't aware that this wasn't that these things were problems um, that women were experiencing certain certain forms of oppression and s oppression and certain um, societal you know um, societally induced traumas and so no one was doing doing anything about them you know th there wasn't even really very good therapy for sexual abuse as I understand it because they were uh, it was just rejected that that was even potentially a problem and so in the same way um, we can share our, our trauma that this causes and that has therapeutic value in itself I mean talking just being able to talk to someone about how you feel about this and feeling connected to other men who have these same uh, struggles is has a therapeutic value in itself because you feel less alone and you're able to get some of those feelings out and that there's a cathartic value to that but furthermore um, and again most importantly when you pull together you start to have insights into the problem you start to um, see like w one guy says you know well actually I I was able to talk to my parents in this way and I found that I said these things and that really um, and that really made them understand and it, it really it really sort of changed the power dynamic so that I I felt like I had more control of the situation and now rather than just one man having this um, 
this thing that he was able to do. Now there's however many men in the group. I, you know, I probably aim for a group of six or so. I think is a small enough and big enough that it's um, good medium-sized group. So now rather than just one man having this um, this way of working through his problem, six men have this way of of working through this. And so you can shine the light on these bright spots that different men have, these insights that they have, and it raises the consciousness of the entire group very rapidly, um, especially if you can scale this and have many, many groups and, and sort of a coordinated group system, which we can now have. Of course, they didn't have that in the 60s and 70s with feminists, feminist consciousness raising. Now we can, you know, you can record a group or you can record at least the insights of a group and... Um, and easily send them to everyone around the country who's in these groups. In feminism, there were about 100,000 women participating in these groups when there, it was at scale. Um, there are certainly uh, that many men, at least, I would say, who are upset about circumcision. I know there's... Um, I heard one stat at one point that was 10%, although that was a while ago, so um, that would be, you know, of the... Uh, of if it's 80% of the men, then that would be around 120, 120 million. So if it's 10%, then it would be 12 million, if I'm doing the math right. So, you know, I don't know if all 12 million of those men who are upset about circumcision would, would, would on, on a, you know, participate in a group, but even if 1% wanted to participate in a group, then that would be 100,000. And with 100,000 men doing this, you know, the amount of power that we could pool together is incredible. Um, the amount of insight that we could that we could source from that, and you know, if every guy wanted to pitch in and say, you know, let's all donate ten dollars, that'd be a million dollars. What could you do with a million dollars? <laughs> you know, you could do a lot. You could do a lot, um, and you you could do that every week. Every week, there's a ten dollar fee to to come to the group. So. Why aren't we doing this? You know, why hasn't anyone done this yet? I think it's simply because um, no one's put it together. I don't think there's a lack of desire for participation or lack of um, men wanting to participate in a group like this and, and be able to speak their feelings and connect with others and, and figure out real actions that we can take and, and insights and, and ways that we can, um, you know, not just talk to our families, but how can we... Um, create legal actions, you know, how can we elect officials who are in alignment with our cause, how can we um, create campaigns, how can we, there's so many different things we can do, there's, there's literally thousands of different strategies, I've talked about dozens of them on this channel, but um, that's just, I'm just one person, and, and there are many, many, many more strategies, protesting, you know, um, talking to doctors, doing stuff at hospitals, um, trying to petition the medical community, trying to um, create plays or, or media. There are so many things we can do. It's absurd <laughs> how many things we can do that most of them we're not really doing or we could be doing a lot more of. And so I think consciousness raising is a great, uh, great, metaphor at least, if not modality, that we can adopt as a group and um, end circumcision once and for all, you know, find psychological healing and regenerate the foreskin. And uh, while we're at it, why not regenerate the, the female clitoris for women who are victims of genital mutilation? And I don't know if uh, intersex is possible. That seems like it would be very different because you can't... Um, you don't know necessarily what you're regenerating because you don't know exactly what was cut off, and so it's it's a very different, just a different thing. But we could try. I think at least female regenerating, um, female genital mutilation parts would be doable. So why not? Why not do it? Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Let me know what you think of this idea. If you're interested in participating in a consciousness raising group, email me at jordan at foragen.org. That's jordan at f-o-r-e-g-e-n.org. And I'd love to hear from you. I'm starting up some 
some uh, support groups and probably some some form of consciousness raising group type thing very soon so look forward to talking with y'all